Hi, Gary Stearman. It's time for another Prophecy in the News Daily Update, May 25th, Friday, going into the Memorial Day weekend. And in studio with me, Bob Ulrich. Hi, Bob. Good to be here, Gary. It yeah. is good to be here. And today we've got something exciting to share with you from the latest Prophecy in the News magazine. This is the June 2012 issue. And you can see the title, Sounds Out of Heaven. And I have written about a phenomenon, uh, Bob, that has plagued people really since last August. About August of 2011, in Kiev, Ukraine, they began to hear trumpets in the sky. And I mean in the sky. People were going outdoors and, and looking up into either a clear or a cloudy sky and hearing choruses of trumpets, big trumpet sounds, sometimes in unison, sometimes in harmony, but the most baleful, mournful trumpeting you can imagine. And they would run in and get their video cameras and, and take sound recordings uh, of these trumpets. Uh, that happened August the 11th uh, of 2011, and then just a few days later <clears throat> in, in uh, Tampa, Florida, during a baseball game of all things. You, do you remember that one? Oh yeah, it's it's actually was recorded on the Watchers 3 DVD that L.A. Marzulli did and it is uh, really uh, really spooky to sit there and listen to it and listen to the announcers talking about it and see the looks on the faces of the people in the stadium down in Tampa. I mean they're just stunned like what is that? And the announcers are stunned and they're, they are listening to this very same trumpeting sound in a dome stadium a lot of people try to explain it away as the wind blowing through the dome in a certain way, but uh, it was trumpeting. Everybody heard it. Uh, baseball players standing in the field were looking up like this and wondering, what in the world is that? Gary, that's just one or two incidences. Oh, yeah. These are taking place all over the world, all over Europe and Germany and Russia in Los Angeles and Topeka, Kansas. I mean, everywhere you turn, in fact, oh, yeah. all you've got to do is go to YouTube you know, and type in, uh, you know, strange sounds in the earth and the heavens. And so people have been asking for the last year, looking for answers. When is Gary going to talk about this? So finally they've got their wish. You've written about it in the June issue. And Bob, doing some Bible research, uh, I discovered there is Bible precedent for this. In other words, there's, there are places in the Bible where the characters in the Bible hear sounds over their heads in the air. Uh, the the most well known, of course, is the trumpet of God at the giving of the law in uh, in Exodus. We we have this is the, this is the first trumpet in the whole Bible, by the way, that's mentioned as such. And it's Exodus 19, verse 16. It came past on the third day in the morning that there were thunders and lightnings and a thick cloud upon the mount and the voice of the trumpet exceedingly loud, so that all the people that was in the camp trembled. So the same thing happened then as is happening now. People are scared to death. They're thinking apocalyptic thoughts when they hear these trumpets. Well, that day may have been a little different because we know that God actually descended on Mount Oreb and met yeah. with Moses and gave him the Ten Commandments. Right. And the people down in the encampment, uh, encampment down below, literally, the Bible says they were exceedingly fearful and terrified. And they yeah. kept hearing a sound like a trumpet. And, of course, we know. That was the voice of God. The voice of God. And the whole idea of trumpets being associated with judgment, that's a Rosh Hashanah idea. You know, the Tishri 1, what happens in the, in, the, uh, in the average Jewish synagogue? They blow the trumpets. And the, why do they? Because they say judgment is near. And so they blow that trumpet, reminding people that the judgment of God could happen at any moment. Now, Gary, it's not just trumpet sounds, is it? No, it's not. Uh, there have been crashes and bangs and the sounds of breaking glass and cars colliding head on and the one I like, uh, Clintonville, Wisconsin, for three days. This is a little town in the central part of Wisconsin. And for three days and three nights they heard assorted crashes, bangs, and booms. One man in Clintonville with his wife in their living room described the sound as two locomotives crashing head on. Complete with broken glass and broken and 
grinding metal, <laughs> the sounds of crashes. You said Clintonville? That wasn't Bill and Hillary having a fight, was it? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Clintonville, Wisconsin. And so all of the, uh, the, the municipal authorities, sewer, water, electricity, everybody was out checking systems to see if there had been an explosion. There were no explosions. Nothing that anyone could find, and people would hear these massive, massive sounds rush outside their houses. There was nothing out of the ordinary. And they're not showing up on seismographs. No, they're now, not. I want to read a little passage here out of First uh, Chronicles 14. It's a story of uh, David and a, a victory he had over the Philistines. And the Bible says, And the Philistines yet again spread themselves abroad in the valley. Therefore David, David inquired again of God, and God said unto him, Go not up after them turn away from them and come upon them over against the mulberry trees. And it shall be when thou shalt hear a sound of going in the tops of the mulberry trees that then thou shalt go to battle. For God has gone forth before thee to smite the host of the Philistines. Now when I read that uh, earlier today, I asked you about that little phrase and what that actually says in the Hebrew. Uh, when thou shalt hear a sound of going. What does that actually, uh, how do you translate that in the Hebrew language? Yeah, it's the, the verb going there is a very, very uh, common Hebrew verb for marching. Uh, the sound that armies make when they march, like tramp, 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 you know, like a thousand feet in unison. That's the sound of going that was heard above the tops of the mulberry trees. Wow, that had to be angels. Oh, we got trumpets. We've got marching, and of course we know who marches, that's soldiers. Yeah. You know, when Doug Hamp was here a few weeks ago, he and I had a really fascinating conversation about the thin veil that separates heaven and earth. Right. And as we sit here and hear these things and see these signs and, and know that there's, uh, there's history behind some of these things in the Bible and some of these strange paranormal events, and we're going to talk about Josephus in a minute, but Doug said he believes that that line between heaven and earth is so thin that perhaps what we're hearing right now are those sounds of battle about to happen. Is something big on the horizon? You know, there could be, and this has been the reaction of the people who heard these sounds. Uh, I, I look back to one incident in which a, uh, an audio engineer actually heard the sounds of what he described as five or six trumpets playing in harmony. And being an audio engineer, he analyzed the sounds and and to him, they sounded like legitimate trumpets, and he, he remarked that he had never been so frightened in all his life, and all he could think of were thoughts of Judgment Day and the apocalypse. And, and you know, maybe we are nearing Judgment Day. What do you think? Judgment Day and the apocalypse. I mean, there's a foreboding couple of uh, phrases there, but, you know, right. these are unsaved people who are yes. thinking those things. It must correct. be very unsettling to hear a sound that, there's no explanation for it. Kind of like having an earthquake, having the ground shake under your feet and realizing that I'm not in control of this world or even my life. Well, I have here the, uh, the L.A. Marzulli uh, Watchers series, Watchers 1, 2, and 3. And in Watchers 3, uh, L.A. has actually included that incident uh, in Tampa. So you can hear the trumpet yourself. In fact, uh, we're offering the Watchers Trilogy package, Watchers 1, 2, and 3, plus uh, The Alien Agenda, a DVD with conversation between L.A., uh, myself, and Tom Horn. And this is a terrific uh, value, along with a subscription to Prophecy in the News magazine for one year. Uh, this is about a $120 value. Yours? For what, Bob? Fifty nine ninety five. It may be the greatest <laughs> offer in the history of prophecy in the news. We have had so many people get these DVDs, which are just filled with the signs of the times. Oh, yeah. Great reaction to these DVDs. The Watchers Trilogy, plus the bonus DVD, plus the magazine subscription for one year. Just ask for the Watchers Trilogy package when you call 1-800-475-1111. And uh, we will send it to you very, very quickly. That's the Watchers Trilogy package. Big things happening these days, Bob. Well, there are big things happening around the same big things that happened right before 70 A.D. that oh, Josephus right. recorded. We're going to come back and do another program on that. We'll have to do that. <laughs> Gary Stearman along with Bob Ulrich. And uh, we're reminding you, of course, to keep looking up.